and I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the Workers and Trade Unions Major Group. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I must admit it's a little bit scary to think that the perspective and the approach to DRR can help us create a new development paradigm, uh, and I'm encouraged uh, that we be really ambitious in what we, uh, what we attempt to do. I speak on behalf of the Global Trade Union Federation Public Services International, representing trade union members working in public services in 160 countries. In terms of crisis response, our members, those workers who, who are called out during disasters to save lives and protect property, assume many personal risks. They are the first responders, the firefighters, emergency medical workers, police officers. They are often the heroes we see in the media, willing to risk their own lives to save others. Um, there are, I'd like to just draw attention that there's many others, not so visible, but often equally at risk. Workers in health and social services, education, energy, public transport, water and sanitation, and many others. All of these workers willingly assume enormous risks as part of their duties, but we don't want to assume these risks without employers, both public and private, assuming their responsibilities. And this is a key concept we need to include uh, in the approach to Sendai. Because whether local or national government, odds are you are the main employers of disaster response workers. So we need you to pay especially close attention to the needs of these workers. Um, we need you first and foremost to implement ILO core labor standards and to adhere to the ILO's decent work agenda. Um, for first responders, workers and trade unions need to see targets and indicators which assess our preparedness because that's one of the key ways to, do, to reduce the risks, not only the risks to us, but to the members uh, who need, the members of society who need us. Uh, such tools and training uh, don't come cheaply, don't come easily, uh, but we need that. And we can see, for example, today, workers, health workers are dying in Africa uh, as they try to treat the patients of the Ebola disaster. Uh, we also know that UN workers are, are often sent into the most difficult parts of the planet, and 200 of these workers have been killed on the job uh, over the past 10 years. That's just uh, a small drop in the bucket, I'm afraid to say. In looking at the, the questions and the vocabulary and the assumptions, we see resilience is the key term. And so we draw attention to one key element of building resilience, to the proposal moving through the UN system to build, build real social protection systems, including in the OWG this week. And for information, social protection is generally understood as a set of public actions that serve as social and economic stabilizers, providing residents with the means to manage major risks, preventing the worsening of poverty, inequality, and social exclusion. So our direction, our recommendation is that the post-2015 framework for DRR must include the promotion of a rights-based approach uh, to the economic and social resilience on which this framework is founded. Uh, finally, we have an, uh, a couple of recommendations, one uh, dealing with governments facing um, austerity policies. We need to fix the fiscal, fiscal space and should agree a global system to end aggressive tax planning, tax evasion, and tax dodging so that public services can be paid for. We heard the Swiss delegate uh, mention that prevention pays, but it doesn't, Chair, necessarily pay the profits of the private sector. So please, let's not fool ourselves that we can hope on PPPs for all the investments. Finally, the political will that is needed We've heard lots of talk about participation. Participation means willingness to share power. And this we are willing to do with, uh, with partners to bring about the changes which we, the workers, our communities, and our planet so urgently need. Thank you very much. I thank the distinguished representative of the Workers and Trade Unions Major Group for his statement.